Peace and love, family. It's your girl, Nashe. What's up? What's good, bag babes? I hope everybody is doing well. I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. To all my OGs, my day ones, thank you for sticking around. And tonight, I do want to talk about a, another handbag. Tonight, we'll be talking about my Kipling tote. I'll be honest with you all, I do not remember the bag's official name. I got her years ago. But I did pull her out recently because I just wanted a light carry. And as you know, if you know, Kipling definitely brings a light carry. So I've enjoyed her so much, I did not want to come out of this purse, OMG. And before I begin, shout out to my mommy. If she's watching this video, which she might be, I just want to say, mom, I love you so much. And this right here is a crocheted blanket that she made for my son. And yeah, I just like to wrap myself up in it because it's so comforting and so warm. So again, thank you, mom, right? So guys, let's go ahead and move on into this Kipling handbag slash tote. Although I don't remember the actual name of the purse, and some of you might remember, some of you might recognize this handbag, um, I do know it's in sparkly gold. So it's given like a very champagne type gold, very light gold, almost a neutral. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about her because although you would expect her to just brighten up the place, she actually stays in her lane and she does not compete or take away from what you're wearing, despite the fact that she is sparkly gold. Look how spacious. We have two pockets on the front. We have a pocket on the back. We have these lovely top handles or straps and a, a strap that actually attaches. So you can wear her a couple different ways. So let's get right in this purse. The first thing that I wanna mention about this handbag is the love I have for these adorable little monkeys, little Kipling Gorilla monkeys. Name. This one is named Jayla, and Jayla is a darling. Like I said, I love these straps right here. It's looking like a 12 inch drop because it definitely passes the elbow test with no problem. You can wear her with a large coat. You can wear her with large arms. I did go ahead and put the actual strap, the detachable strap in one of these front pockets. So here it is right here. And so I do like to have this handy just in case I need to switch things up while in motion. But for the most part, I've not had to do that this week. I've been in her for just um, over a week. I actually lost count of the days, but at this point, even though I love her, I got to move out. So that's all I have in the front is just the one pocket that has the strap. And we have a nice zipper right here, very smooth zipper. So once I open her up, we have a very messy interior. That's what tends to happen to me. I'll start out with a very organized purse, but if I'm in her more than a few days, it becomes a hot mess. So here's the overview. I have this creativity pouch by Kipling. Also comes with a little monkey right there. And this one is Riley. I made this my grab and go purse in this tote, or at least I tried to. At this point, I'm not sure what's in here right now, but when we first started, this was my grab and go. Like if I needed to grab something out of the handbag, if there was a fire, what would I grab? It would be one of these tiny, smaller purses that I keep of late in my handbag. So I can just grab it in case I need to run somewhere or literally in case there's a fire or an emergency and I just need to have my ID, money, you know, all the things in one place. So that's what I've been doing with my last few um, handbags. Just having a little grab and go just in case. I love the creativity pouch by Kiplet. 
Now, they usually go for like 25, 30 and up. I've never paid that much. I've always caught them on a sale and it's always been amazing. Just an amazing product. It expands so much. And there's like little pockets everywhere. So we have one, two, three, four, five. There's five pockets in this pouch. Super cute. I added this little strap right here. It does not come with the bag. It did not go with the purse. The, the hardware doesn't even match, but it made it convenient. And I was looking for convenience. So that worked out very well on the front side the front pocket we have my girly goods in the other pocket a slimmer pocket i just have some receipts that i need to snap for fetch again complete disarray because this is not how the it should look but i have this handy dandy it's called the magic towel and you can pick this up from Dollar Tree. It's a full size towel once you dip it in water. So yes, this can definitely come in handy and has come in handy in previous times. The next pocket has my little notebook, has a lip gloss, has a slip wallet. What's this called? has a card case and a pen so it's not fully set up the way i would ideally want it to be but you get the drift in this all right so moving right along i have this journal right here i'm recording just some thoughts about my children quite honestly that's what this is for i just needed to record some things some thoughts and jot down some information as they come to me randomly regarding my children. Um, so I've been toting this around this week because I've needed to. This tiny little pouch right here, you may have seen it in previous bags. It literally just has my nail oil right now. As you know, I'm not wearing any nails or any press-ons or anything like that because I'm giving my nails a chance to breathe, regenerate, do their thing. I was going through a period where I was putting on a bunch of nails and it was fabulous, but my fingers, my nails got really, really soft. So now we've scaled back and we are just dealing with healing the fingers and healing the hands. So no press-ons for me, simply some oil, sometimes some paint. Here we have my sanitizer pouch and in this pouch, as most of you should know already, we have some Florida water. We have our Lysol. We have our hand sanitizer and we do have some magic hand wipes. It's actually magic hand sanitizer. So that's what we have. And it does come in handy when I go out. Here is my pen pouch. Not much have changed with this pen pouch. Actually, I have taken out some pens, so that's pretty much it. Pen pouch. Random receipts. This one is from Old Navy. It does have a key leash in the purse, and I did leash on here. I did stick on here a little pouch. I should have a lighter in here. It's completely empty because my purse is a hot mess right now. The lighter's in there somewhere, but that's what would be in here. I have this longer lighter, okay? <laughs> because <laughs> I have the longer lighter also in my purse because I do love to light candles. Sometimes I will even have a candle with me. Some. So that larger compartment is pretty much emptied out. We just have the interior pockets to go through. I'll start with the back pocket. I have my tin of mints. I have my mini calendar book. I 
I have a pack of Band-Aids from the Dollar Tree. I recently went to the eye doctor, so I have some information from the eye doctor. Yeah, guys, I will soon have some new glasses. I'm super excited about it. I am super excited about my new glasses. I have a manicure set. I have a random maxi pad in the back pocket. And I have the tag for the Kipling pouch. It, again, is called the Creativity Pouch and it's sparkly gold. And that is the zippered back pocket, now empty. In the slip pockets on the other side, I do have my handy dandy Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lotion. I have a pretty um, Wet n Wild Multi Stick. This is a blue color. It's called Blue Blue Lala. <laughs> blue Lala. It's so pretty. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. I also have my Fenty Lip Gloss. I have two nail polishes that I picked up. Sally Hansen Insta Dry. I really do like like the Insta Dry. I need a paint and just it needs to be dry. That's my life. So these two colors, Insta Dry by Sally Hansen. The pink one is called Beating Heart, and the blue one is called Mint Me in St. Louis. So yeah. Pick those up from Walmart. Plan on painting my nails at some point this spring. Okay. So, that is everything. The interior is completely empty with the exception of the empty pouch. Now we're going to go on to this large back pocket and see what I have in here. Right off the bat, my house keys. And random receipts. So, lastly, in the back pocket, here is the Bank of America credit card that I just keep randomly putting in random places. All right, and then we have a cute little dinosaur Definitely, <laughs> definitely one of my son's little trinkets. I think I'll just keep him in my um, my pencil pouch, my, my pen pouch, and keep the energy of my son close to me. Oh, and then I thought we were empty, but I have one loose mandarin orange now later, okay? I am a Nihilator girl. I grew up in the era of Nihilators and I still eat my Nihilators. So this is the Mandarin Orange. I'm actually, I love the banana Nihilators. I like the cherry Nihilators. Um, they have like that apple Nihilator. Yeah, I'm a Nihilator head. Okay. So that is everything in the bag. She is completely empty. She's also kind of dirty. So, oh, look, there is something in here. Tiny pink lighter. This was what was supposed to be in that pouch. So here she is. So yes, now the bag is officially empty. Like I said, she was a fun, comfortable carry. Um, so lightweight. I know why people gravitate to this brand because it's a pretty sizable purse that literally feels like nothing this feels like a cloud so when you put your things in there you're not adding to two additional pounds of leather you know what i mean it's just a beautiful light carry and 
I can appreciate that. <laughs> I can definitely appreciate that. I don't think I'll be looking to get any additional Kiplings at the moment. I'm good with my very small Kipling collection. I, do, I have like maybe three pieces from Kipling and two of them are the creativity pouch and this is the third so i'm good on my kipling right now i've had others that i've sold on poshmark but um i don't think i'll be adding any additional ones to my collection anytime soon i am very happy with the kiplings that i have now while i don't have any real qualms with this bag and with this carry i did notice that the um that the pocket on the back side is coming, the thread is coming loose right here. And I think I could take care of that with um, either my sewing machine or just hand stitching it back together. That's what I'm thinking. But also if it does happen to unstitch, unravel all the way over here, I don't see it really causing any function issues with the bag. If anything, it actually opens up the back pocket a little wider, but I think that's all it would literally be doing. So I'm not very concerned about that. Um, I also don't know if I can put this bag in a washing machine. I'm not sure how that would work. I don't believe you should but I don't know. I have no experience with washing a Kipling bag. So if you do, let me know in the comments if you can wash these bags. Other than that, it's looking like she's going to get a nice spot cleaning. Um, I don't necessarily have to stuff her and she'll just go right. She'll just get put right away and be prepared and ready for her next wear. So that all being said, this is my Kipling purse thank you for letting me share i'm so happy to now be free of her i look forward to my next carry i don't know what that is you guys have a beautiful beautiful night i will talk to y'all soon and as always be amazing peace and love